their homes and belongings gone after a fire broke out earlier this week at an apartment complex in Dallas. But for a group of refugees, not all is lost. Yeah, as our Jobin Panneker shows us, a group of all face is giving these people hope. Four days later and the boards have gone up. The fire at these apartments in Dallas took everything. And by the looks of the people in the office waiting for help, it took from those who had very little. So she's saying that the same old nightmare is it's like coming back again. Same those fear, the trauma that did she underwent. The families displaced are families permanently displaced. Refugees who escaped real persecution. Deyu Acharya and her family of 10 fled from Bhutan. The fire that raged through 18 units early Monday morning took all the savings, money saved under a mattress. Also, took their medication. Mohammed Ismail is an imam and with the Rohingya Muslims. Persecuted in Myanmar. He was up doing prayers when the fire raged. He wrapped his two children in a towel and ran out with his wife. Well, he says, I don't know the word freedom of movement in my country. But the parallels of displacement do end there. This room is filled with love and help. Eight agencies are working together. ICNA is leading the charge. This is now the Muslim community, Jewish community, Christian community, all coming together on this. There have been donations of food, bedding, kitchen supplies. The landlords have found other units for the 80 people displaced. These people, they already faced enough of trauma in their life. Instead, we see resilience from the people displaced and goodness from those willing to help them. In Dallas, I'm Joden Paniker. Bad times can bring out the best in us. A year